Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta or Marta, if you can roll your R's, but either way it's fine. I did not straighten my hair, so this side's like going in, this side's going out. It's fine, I don't want to put heat on my hair every day, it's not good for it, so we're just gonna let it ride, we're gonna let it do its thing. Anyway, this week's video is a vlog, so I'm gonna take you guys through my makeup routine, you guys can see my kitty cats, um, meals that I'm meal prepping, um, I go out with Ian and the boys, what else do we do? We clean, we do laundry, we talk about systems and mindset, we talk about my wedding, um, I try on some clothes that I got from Amazon. We kind of just touch on a little bit of everything. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Hello YouTube, I'm filming a TikTok and so I figured I should just come on here and show you guys what I got from Amazon. So I got this, it's a tank top. It's not a bodysuit. Praise the Lord, I'm sick of unbuckling the bodysuits to go to the bathroom. I'm over it. So I wanted to get this top. I have it in um, a bodysuit and I love it, but I wanted to get it in like the crop. And then I got this like felt, you know what I mean? Like it's really soft. It's not really that flexible. So it either fits you or it doesn't. I don't know what size I got this in. I'll link them below in the description box, but it fits. I think I got the top in a medium. It's a little bit snug. And then I got these boots. Guys, I know the lighting is horrendous, but just go with it. It has plaid details. I wanted to find a boot that didn't have a heel because I cannot walk in heels all day. I actually have a potassium deficiency, so I get cramps all day, all night, especially, especially when I wear heels. And I have these black boots, but the heel is like two inches higher than this. I've been up all night getting Charlie horses, toe cramps, anytime I stretch, anytime I bend down, and I'm blaming it on the shoe. So I wanted to get a shoe that did not have a heel, and I found it. And it would go literally perfectly with this. How cute. So that's this one. Let me try something else on. We moved over here because I feel like the lighting is better. I got a cardigan. I was just telling my TikTok, I haven't had a cardigan in a long time. I have these like long to the floor throws that go with three-piece sets, but I don't have an actual like knitted cardigan and now I do guys It's so soft and I needed a pop of color because everything that I'm buying is brown or white <laughs> So I was like we need to bring some color back to my world <laughs> All right, next is this silky soft brown dress. It's so comfy you guys. It is caressing my hormonal pooch right now in the ways I don't want it to but I feel like if I'm not on my period I'll like it so much more but it's like a little turtleneck and I don't know if you guys can see it's like a good length and I would put tights with it just because it is cold out but I could also wear my thigh high boots my thigh high boots are the exact same color as this that would look so good if I was a really good fashion channel I would be looking booking this for you right making a whole lookbook but I'm not I'm just here or just here okay i have another brown dress i want to try on that i might like better than this one so let's see i have no words other than i'm choking i'm drowning i hate the length you guys can't see. like wh what is this it's it's literally like doing the most if you're gonna have this v needs to be different if you're gonna i cannot critique this dress you can critique this dress you critique it I don't want to. I'm returning it. This is so professional. It is giving corporate vibes, but like, I don't care. I needed something that made me feel confident, but wasn't so sexy when it comes to sweater dresses. Um, and I get that from that brown one, that first brown one I tried on and this one. Like, I wish I had this for all the holiday parties, family things. This is very like <sighs> PG, love it navy it comes in so many colors though if you guys go online so i'm probably gonna get this another color it came in like bright green and bright pink too if you want to dabble in that realm which i do but hello guys i'm coming at you fresh out of the shower i literally have no makeup on it's thunder week in this house so i have acne everywhere but we're gonna go with it because this is a perfect video to film i want to show you guys my makeup routine I had on my agenda today to go get a lighter foundation because my foundation is a little bit too dark right now, but we're going to go with it. I've been loving this e.l.f. like pressed 
primer, you just like <laughs> press it into your pores. The foundation that I have been really loving is Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I'm wearing it in warm nude, but I definitely need it in a shade lighter now. Um, when I got it, it was perfect, clearly. And I still use a beauty blender. That's my cat. <laughs> what, Bean? What? You wanna go outside? You meowed to come inside. You have to work quick because it's matte. You don't want it to like oxidize and like be streaky. So that's why I'm going so fast. Hold on, Bean. Don't you guys love that my cat's name is Vanilla Bean? Like Vanilla Bean Ice Cream and we just call her Bean. It is the cutest thing. When we named her that, I was like, I am not calling her Bean. Her name is Nilla. Her name is Nilla. Her name is Bean. You wanna go outside? Yeah. Okay. Love you. Bye. Talk to you later. <laughs> Next, I need to get more concealer, but I use the NARS Creamy Concealer in Light 2.3. I definitely need to get more. I am getting married September 7th, 2024. All I have booked so far is the venue and the videographer. I knew the videographer I wanted like before I was even engaged because I went to another wedding and he did a video for it and I was obsessed and I just have been stalking and he's so nice and cool and he also has cats and you know is a total nerd like us so it just makes sense and his videos are just so cinematic like i want movie i want to feel like i'm living in a movie when i watch it back i don't want the awkward lulls like i just want it to feel so romantic and make me cry every time i watch it because I know, I know there's gonna be like awkward moments you know i don't want those on camera so anyway that's done and then it's at a vineyard um back it's like near pittsburgh but it's really in ohio i don't have a wedding planner it's just me um the venue does provide a coordinate coordinator for the day of but other than that it's all me i have resources like there's so many resources out there there's even wedding planners that provide resources like they give you their tips and secrets like free on YouTube or you can pay like a hundred bucks for their wedding planner guide that they use. You know what I mean? Obviously a wedding planner gives you way more help, but if you're trying to save money, which I am. I am saving money on a wedding planner because there's other things that I want to go all out in. Like I want a an amazing live band. My family is big into music. A lot of people in my family are musicians, singers, in bands. Um, we're just always singing and dancing every time we're together. And yeah, I could not had just have a DJ. It just would not feel right. My lips are gonna look so gross for a little bit. My camera ran out of storage, formatted my memory card, and we are good to go now. Anyway, I use the Butter Bronzer um, from Physicians Formula. It smells like coconut. It smells like this like Barbie doll I had when I was younger. Also by e.l.f., this cream blush. I just stipple it in here, and then we go right on top. Anyway, back to wedding things. I think once I booked my venue, I got a better idea because I'll be honest, I had no plan. Like everyone's like, what do you want your theme to be? Like, what do you, nothing, nothing. I've been with this man for nearly nine years and I had no plan, okay? <laughs> Once I got engaged, I started to just do research and like also look inward and figure out like, what do I love? And I love red, pink, like bright colors, um, Spanish colors, Europe, Europe. I just love Europe, obviously, like I'm from Spain. So I go to Spain every year and it's just, every time I'm there, it's so picturesque. Everything is stunning. And so I'm like, how can I find a little piece of Europe in the US? Like everybody gets married in barns or in these like colonial mansions and country clubs. And I'm just like, no, 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 not for me, not my style. I want to get married in a castle. <laughs> I want to get married in a villa, like in 
you know, the countries uh, of Spain, like the countryside, or in Tuscany, Italy, like that kind of vibes with florals everywhere and colors. Like, I really love color. I'm just, I'm not like a plain Jane gal when it comes to clothes. You look in my closet and it's color. So I found this venue that literally looks like you're in Italy and it's this massive, like, property that has multiple villas and restaurants and wineries and um, there's a spa like it's this whole weekend experience that everybody can experience but once we went and visited i was like and it was freezing like it wasn't even pretty obviously it was winter time there was no flowers or anything and it still wowed me it was just stunning and i said i can't imagine anything being better it is two hours away from my home back home but everything in pittsburgh is an hour away anyway so what's another hour Two products that I use for my brows is this CoverGirl. CoverGirl? Can I speak? Am I a YouTuber? This is the CoverGirl brow pencil. On this side, it has the brown pencil. On this side, it has the little stipple brush. Like, like that. I really use this to just draw a bottom line, and then I use the brow microfilling pen by Benefit because look how it has multiple little feathers. It literally draws in brow hairs crazy i don't think i can talk while i do my eyebrows like i just don't think i can the vineyard really helped me to like get inspired you know to think of more colors and more ideas and what to do and there's so many places to take pictures you guys it's so i'm gonna give you guys one like hint a little insider to the color theme and that's these flowers this bouquet of flowers once I found it on Pinterest, I said, that's it. That's it. I, I was having, my theme's very difficult because once I found that, it's been difficult to find anything that goes with it, but it's like not red, not fuchsia. Like when you type in on Pinterest, fuchsia, magenta, berry, wine, like you are not going to get my color that I want. Like I will, I'll show you, like I really don't care the color of the bridesmaids dresses that I want, but I don't want it to be silk. I want it to be something that they're comfortable in because nobody wants to wear silk. Like it shows every lump and bump. I would not want to. Um, so I'm trying to find something for my bridesmaids that are a better material. But anyway, that's the color. Like that's the pop of color that we're working with. I don't know what to call it, but that's what it is. And then it'll be matched with you know, like olive green and pinks and champagnes and stuff. I need like a lip situation. I'm feeling so weird. This is the pen that Carly Bible did, the lip liner that she did with Il Maquillage. I love it so much. I've been digging lip gloss lately and I used to never, but it's back. And I'm here for it because liquid lipsticks dry me out. I don't think I need detangler because I used a mask, but detangler is not just to detangle. It also has strengthening properties. It makes your hair stronger. It's a wet brush. Start at the bottom. My hair has already grown so much. <laughs> Hello, my camera died. So we are just running into so many problems today, but I did my hair. It's so freaking soft. Oh my God. Um, I put in a volume and lift spray, so hence the volume and lift. I did not put enough of it on the other side, but that's fine. Um, I did give myself wings, so we are ready to go. I do like to get a straightener and just like fold in these ends or fold them out either way, like go for a type of look. Anyway, I will check back in with you guys when I show you my outfit. I'm going to use some of the things I bought on Amazon. It's going to be really cute because I want to get some content. Maybe I'm going to eat lunch and then I'll make some reels. Let's see what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I think a cinnamon roll. I don't know. <laughs> Where are my girlies? Don't run away. Don't run away. I'm going to come get you. I'm going to come get you. <gasps> what about you, Bean? Hi. I know. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> okay, guys, I need to figure out what I'm wearing. Okay, 
this is what I'm thinking. Black, white, black. Oh, no! Come back! Me! Come here! Why? I'm folding my clothes. Why are you folding laundry in midair? No, it was what I was wearing earlier. Oh, okay. Have you seen my things? Where's my super suit? Oh, they were in the laundry basket. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this on and come right back. <laughs> here we are. Um, I did this off camera, but I sprayed the glossy shine spray onto my hairbrush because I saw a hack and what? Like it just makes, I'm trying to get up top too, makes everything, like my hair feels like liquid right now. It's so freaking soft. I decided not to do the straightening on the bottom just because I really don't want to be getting into the habit of putting heat on my hair every day. So we're just going to let the awkward flip happen. We're going to let it live. Um, I need to touch up my makeup a little bit. It's fine. It's just like a little too dewy for me to leave the house with, but like, guys, uh, what is that? This necklace set, by the way, is from Amazon. I wear it every single day. It's the short one and the long one, and on one side, it's an M for me, and on the other side, it's just like a heart. Um, so I always put the M out. Do I seem like I'm rushing? Because I'm definitely rushing. I'm just giving it a little bit of a little bit of a set. I'm not kidding, guys. Look at my hair. Like, what is this? I did not know that glossy shine spray would change my life. Like, who freaking knew? Who knew? I always carry toothpicks with me, by the way, because I am very prone to getting things in my teeth. Phone, gotta put my money in there. And we are good to go, yeah. What? Bernardo's. Bernardo's. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're in a mall. I've never been here before. I don't know. <laughs> you my pocket. I'm freezing. You're blocking Ooh. the sign. Ooh. No, already, it's already gone. It's already passed. Oh, it looks busy. This so looks like pin, uh, whatever, pins. pins. Like, this is how big it was. Oh, my God. All these. It's they copied. Yeah. This is literally pins. <laughs> Actually, it's one o'clock. Um, this morning, Ian and I went, pff, cat hair? Ian and I went to the grocery store and we bought groceries for the week and I'm proud because we have like literally six dinners, two lunch options we can inter swap. I am now making a meal in the crock pot. The crock pot is saving my life. If you have a very busy schedule, and if you hate cooking, me, I hate it. I hate the mess it makes, the time it takes away from my day. I recommend a crock pot. So I literally just go on Pinterest or Google and I search easy crock pot recipes, things that I can leave, put it in, done, don't have to touch it. And so this week I'll show you guys. This is my very bougie menu. <laughs> Absolutely not. So today we're having Jay's pasta. That's like a famous recipe that his family makes. This is not the crock pot. This is like, I'm actually here and not doing anything today. So I'm gonna make it. Then tomorrow is a crock pot. It is a buff chicken chili and I'm actually cooking it right now. So basically it's a chili. I have chicken breasts in there, black beans, things like that. It's gonna taste like buffalo chicken, delish. Then, so that's going to be made today, ready to eat tomorrow. And then Tuesday, chicken pot pie. Ian loves a chicken pot pie. 
And then Wednesday is spaghetti and meat sauce, so I just throw all the meat in the crock pot and it cooks. So then when we um, make dinner, we just have to make the noodles. And then what else do we have? Thursday is steak tacos. I got a lot of sirloin steak to make, so I'm probably going to make tacos. And then on Friday, we'll make the rest of the sirloin with probably just like broccoli and potatoes. I don't know why I didn't write it on there, but that's the plan for the rest of the steak. And for lunches, I have tuna with crackers. I got little sandwiches like Hawaiian rolls. I got Caesar salad stuff. My arm is killing me and it's reminding me why I really need to go to the gym. Um, so tomorrow is starting back in the gym. Back in the gym because we got too much flub going on right now. And that's just holiday flub. It's just holiday flub. It's fine, but now we can say goodbye to it. We're on a really good routine right now. Meal prepping multiple things going on but right now i have laundry to do so i'm gonna do that and i will check back with you guys later all that's left is underwear and socks which go in this furniture. Something I live by is systems, and so to get me to go to the gym, I have my gym outfits ready for the week. Oop, I need one more. I'm just trying to go to the gym four days a week. If I do three, it's fine, but I really wanna go four. You just wanna make it as easy as possible for you to get into a routine, so yeah. Hello guys, so I totally forgot to show you guys what I made for dinner. I just made pasta, it was nothing special. And then we just relaxed on the couch and just had a nice relaxing Sunday evening. I had like two business calls, like I was mentoring a couple ladies and that was pretty much it. Um, so it's the next day and so I just wanna come on here and say thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate you guys just showing up and wanting to see my content. Please comment below on what content you want to see more of but i tried to incorporate a little bit of everything in this week's video but yeah i'm just trying to just have fun i want to be the girly that you guys can play while you are doing your makeup doing your skincare routine putting laundry away i just want to be that voice and that little bit of content for you so hopefully i can be your virtual friend and go ahead and check out my instagram i would love to talk on there i post a lot of footage on my stories i'm always on my stories that i don't post here on youtube so check that out there it's like my little community and yeah that's everything so hope you guys have an amazing week i love you so much and i will see you in my next video bye